Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. Today we will learn about flipping of cells for higher packing and about different cell orientations. So without any delay, let us get started. Let us assume these three are your standard cell rows. So these three are your standard cell rows in which your standard cells will be placed. And let's assume your standard cell rails will go on this row. So first standard cell rail will go on this, second will go on this like this and let's say your standard cell rail will be on M2 layer. So standard cell rail is on M2 layer and let's assume that first standard cell rail is of power. So this will represent VDD standard cell rail. This will represent VSS standard cell rail which will go on this row and third one will be alternate. So it will be on VDD standard cell rail like this. Now let us assume CMOS will be placed like this. So this is just a schematic example. In reality, it will be actually a standard cell in place of this schematic which will be placed here. So it will look something like this. That would be a layout of your standard cell CMOS. So if you see your VDD is overlapping here and your VSS is overlapping in this row. So you can see that your VSS is overlapping with VSS rail and VDD is overlapping with your VSS rail. So this kind of placement is actually referred to as an orientation. That is each cell whenever it is placed, it will have certain orientation. So let us assume that this is your R0 orientation. Now all cells with R0 orientation where the VDD will be overlapping with standard cell of this rail and VSS is overlapping with standard cell rail of this. These all such cells will be placed in this row only. We can't place another cell like this. If we place another cell of CMOS which is an inverter let us say. So let us say that this is your A input and this is your CMOS like this. If we try to place this cell then what will happen is this is your VDD which is now overlapping with the standard cell rail of VSS and you cannot really do that because it is try to creating a power shot in both of the rails this VDD rail and this VSS rail VDD and VSS both side we are trying to create a power ground shot if we are placing an R0 cell orientation of CMOS like this. Hence placement of standard cell in correct row is very important and we must not place a cell with VDD on top of uh, VSS rail. So you have to avoid the power ground shot. We have to avoid power and ground shot and this type of placement it is not correct and it is not desirable. Hence all such cells when placed in the row of R0 there will be no power ground shot and if we want to use another row then we can use this row for VDD and after that there will be one more VSS somewhere down and we can place cells in that row. So that way you can uh, place cells but that time every alternate row will be empty. So every alternate row you have to leave because you cannot create power ground shots and in order to avoid that you have every alternate row occupied with this kind of placement and after every uh, after that one row will be empty. But if we occupy every alternate row with such R0 orientation and leave one row empty between every two rows then almost half of the design will have empty rows and utilization of core area for placing standard cells will be inefficient and that is why we have a concept of flipping of standard cells. By flipping means we are essentially telling the tool to place the cell with symmetry or with respect to X axis and flip it so such that it will be placed like this. Here if you see this PMOS is now downwards and this is your NMOS and it is just flipped with respect to your VSS in X axis. That means here you have VDD now and NMOS is connected to VSS. So connectivity wise it is still same. It is just that it is now flipped. So input and output is like this but it is flipped with respect to your VSS. So now there will not be any power ground shot and you can efficiently place your standard cells in the empty rows also and the cells will be overlapping with your standard cell rails like this and you can see that VDD and VSS will be connected properly in this case. This was the case of schematic and in the layout wise it will look something like this. Here you can see that 
this case vss is your overlapping and it is now just flipped so if you see the layout here anvil was on top here it is on bottom so you can see that it is just flipped with respect to your vss in x axis and that is why this orientation will be called as mx so this was your r0 orientation since it is mirrored in x so that is mx mirrored in x hence by having such kind of placement you will have much more better utilization compared to earlier case given the complexity of design with advanced technology nodes there are different kind of orientation possible and tool follows a certain nomenclature for it different orientations can be understood with the letter f so this letter f is written in the straight direction so we assume that this is r0 now since this is r0 and if we flip it like this so if we flip it in 90 degrees then this f will rotate and it will become something like this and this is flipped in 90 degrees that is why it is rotated as 90 degrees so this rotation will be called as r90 and if we further flip it by 90 degree again like this so what will happen is this will become vertical and the orientation will be now like this so this kind of letter will be called as r180 why because it is now flipped twice so twice 90 degrees has been flipped and if you see this is your zero degree it will be called as 90 degrees this is your 180 degree flipped so rotated in 180 degrees if we further flip it by 90 degree then this vertical will become horizontal and then it will be something like this this will be horizontal and it will be like this so this letter f will be three times it has been rotated as 90 degrees so it is r270 rotation and this kind of rotation is uh, again can be used for placing the cells then let's say it is again flipped by 90 degrees what will happen is if you again flip it then you can see that it will again become straight and that is nothing but your r0 orientation all these orientations are possible for placing the standard cells and now let us say that this r0 if you flip it like this then it will be mirrored like this so since you have rotated it with respect to your y axis so this rotation is called as mirrored in y that is m y rotation and if you would have flipped it let's say this f is flipped with respect to your x axis so it will be something like this and this kind of orientation is called as mirrored in x that we have explained earlier and both of these are possible for rotation again once so let's say if you have if you have rotated it 90 degrees so what will happen is your this kind of cell will rotate and you can rotate it like this this rotation is your mirrored in y again flipped by 90 degrees so this is my 90 and if you flip this one with respect to 90 degrees so what will happen is this will become horizontal and the letter will be looking something like this this is mirrored in x and then flipped by 90 degrees so these are the nomenclatures and these are all possible orientations that we have seen for standard cells and macros that is all for this video we will come up with more concepts in further videos please do like share and subscribe to the channel and give your important feedback in the comment section thank you